All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be doing a quick top grossing update for the brand new Int LR Rose and Broly, Chila, and Lemo banner that just dropped on Global about 14, 15 hours ago. And the early returns are actually looking really, really good. At least a lot better than I was expecting because I was a little bit worried that given the fact we have the download celebration at the end of August, and a lot of people know they should save for that. And also because these new LRs just seem a lot less hype than the Blue Fusions, obviously, that we weren't gonna hit top grossing anywhere. You know, I thought like there was a chance that maybe not a single region would be able to reach it, but uh, I'm glad that I was wrong. And we do have a couple of regions currently at number one overall top grossing, as well as a few other regions that are very, very close so without further ado let's jump into it and take a look now of course we're on sensor tower which is a website used all the time for tracking stats for apps in the google play and ios store and we're filtered by july 27th which is today france of course we're starting with france because it only makes sense and uh, also all categories and ios and as you can see france officially has reached number one overall top grossing once again in the iOS store. Let's be honest, is anybody really surprised? No? Nobody? I mean, <laughs> let's be real, right? France is the, like, of, of all regions that would hit top grossing, right? Against all odds for a banner that, by all means, is not super hype, like, still hyped. Don't get me wrong, people are still hyped for Rosé, but it's not near the same level as the Blue Fusions in part, in part one. But if there was one region that was going to do this, it's France, right? So a uh, huge shout out to all my French Dokkan players out there. We appreciate you as always. Thank you for getting us here once again. So yeah, France is there. Not a huge surprise. I mean, like I said, I, I was thinking maybe they wouldn't be able to do it, but I was wrong to doubt them in the first place. But what's more surprising, actually, is that France is not the only region. That's a number one. We also have Hong Kong at number one as well, jumping 54 spots to take that number one spot. So we have two regions currently at number one, which is amazing. Like that's two more than I thought we were gonna get. But then like I said, we have a few other regions that are quite close. Like for example, there's uh, Luxembourg, which is currently at number two. And I would say has a good chance of reaching number one at some point today, because obviously, the day is still young, right? It's only like, at least for me, it's like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So there's a lot of time for them to reach number one at some point today, maybe tomorrow, but it's more likely to happen today since like the longer it goes on, the less people are gonna be buying stones and all that stuff. So that's Luxembourg right there at number two. And then the US is at number three, so pretty close as well. And then we have Spain at number three. We have Germany at number three. There's Belgium at number four, there's Austria at number four, and uh, Italy at number five currently. And of course, you have to check in on my home country of Canada. And I did buy a decent amount of stones last night. Not a lot, not a lot, because the luck was pretty insane. If you guys want to see what happened, it was one of the shortest summoning streams I've ever done. Let's put it that way. And it was not because I was raging. It's not because I got mad. It's because the luck was so insane that it just didn't make sense for me to continue summoning, you know? So go check that out. Link somewhere above my head. It was a fun time. So yeah, Canada, just got to check in because that's where I live. And uh, we're currently at number five, which is actually very impressive for Canada because we don't do that well in top grossing. Usually for like regular celebrations, we're usually like top 20 at the best, you know? But um, of course in part one, we did hit top grossing in both the iOS and Google Play Store. And for part two right now, we're currently at number five. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna get there. I don't really know if number one is a realistic expectation here for Canada, but I mean, this is closer than we usually are by like a lot. So there's Canada. But like I said, man, a couple of regions on their way. I do have high hopes for the US, for Luxembourg, for Hong, Hong Kong's already there and uh, also potentially Spain, potentially Germany, we'll see. But at the current, at this current point in time, we have two regions up there. 
which means we should be expecting some kind of top grossing reward within the next few days. I would say like maybe by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at the latest, we should be getting something from Bandai. And the, the only question I have right now is like, are they going to do the regular, you know, like seven stones per top grossing region, which would mean that right now, you know, we're, we're up for like 14 stones. Or are they just gonna be like, F it, you know what, it's the anniversary still, let's just make it special, and it will give them, you know, 30 stones, even if only two regions hit it. Obviously, there's a chance that more regions hit it anyways, so that might not even matter, but uh, I'm not really sure how they're gonna distribute the rewards this time, because, you know, I, I don't know if they really expect it to hit top grossing again, and uh, once again, it's a special occasion, so they might give us a little bit more than they normally would, or they might do something else. The one thing actually I'm really worried about, I am a little bit worried about the fact that they might pull a uh, Fizz Beerus top grossing, like on JP, where uh, JP hit top grossing for the Fizz Beerus banner, but they didn't get any stones for it. You know, so they I think they only got orbs and some other stuff, like uh, Hercule statues maybe, or Kai's. Or something like that, I don't remember exactly, but I remember it was a big thing because they didn't get any stones for top grossing there. So, I'm a little bit scared the same thing's gonna happen for us. Like, I don't think it's likely, but I think there's a chance. Because they just gave out 100 stones for top grossing on the Fusions banners, and then they gave another 30 for like a second top grossing for the Fusions banners again. So are they gonna give us more stones here? I think we deserve it. Obviously, it would make sense for us to get it. But uh, this is Bandai we're talking about, so anything is possible. So definitely don't expect no stones, but be ready for the possibility. All right, I'm going to say we're going to get at least like 14, you know, 20 stones, 30 stones, something like that. But it's hard to say. Either way, though, there's the update. we got a couple regions, France and uh, Hong Kong currently at number one. A couple of other regions could potentially hit it too. So maybe some good rewards on the way. And that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are having great luck on the top Legendary Summon banner if you are summoning. And uh, if not, then stay strong and keep saving. Okay, we got some great stuff around the corner for Global Steel. But that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.